This Friday is recognized as World Menopause Day. It's a day of awareness to break the stigma and shine a light on its impacts. One of the effects of menopause is that it can either start or cause a relapse of eating disorders. Joining us now is Dr. Allison Chase from the Eating Recovery Center. Dr. Chase, we appreciate you so much for being here this afternoon. Sure, thanks for having me. I wanted to start our conversation by asking what makes menopause such a big trigger for eating disorders? Well, part of the problem is, is there's an emotional, there's a very biological component which can impact one's emotion during that time as hormones are changing. With the emotional changes, there's also body changes as well. Hormones changing um, completely shifts what's happening in the body, and that can be very challenging for, for women, especially with a lot of what the messaging is that are out there from a social cultural perspective these days. Dr. Chase, what's some advice you have for any women out there struggling to manage those bodily changes that can come with menopause? Yeah, I think it's really important to to recognize what it is and that it's real. It's it's days like this one coming up that allow us to have a an honest conversation about it. Hmm. And I also think it's really important to talk to one's medical providers to to check out to see what is happening in one's own body. There are definitely individual differences to see if there are anything that, that one can do to help feel more comfortable. But with that said, it's also really important to take care of one's Self-care is essential. Maybe turning to other, other friends that are experiencing similar things that we always know that support is really impactful when it comes that way as well. Yeah, I'm so glad you highlighted that too. Well, what are some signs that somebody may be struggling with an eating disorder and how can they get the help that they might need? Yeah, so eating disorders are um, of great concern. And I, I'm glad we're having this conversation because I think there's a lot of misinformation about them only impacting adolescent girls. And that is not the case at all. Eating disorders come in all shapes and all sizes and all ages. And so with that said, it's really important to, to look to see if somebody's health is being impaired, if they are feeling, let's say, older than normal, which would be happening, or have had sudden weight loss or weight gain in any sort of way, if they are experiencing other kind of symptoms within their body, things that are bothering them, and if you're noticing a change in their behavior. So a change in their behavior when it comes to their eating behaviors and also how they're engaging socially as well. Are they avoiding interacting with friends? Are you not seeing them? Are you seeing shifts in their mood? That can be an indication as well. And one of the, the best things to do is if you're noticing it is really is to reach out to get help. Um, it's really important. Like at Eating Recovery Center, we have a free assessment that's provided easily by calling. And oftentimes I think we underestimate all the all that's really going on. And so it's so important to get professional guidance. Well, Dr. Allison Chase with the Eating Recovery Center. Thank you so much again for joining us okay. to share all this information. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.